The machines that we have in our test lab are actual production units that you can run material through. So we know that what happens in the test lab is replicable in the field. The material that we're working with is a, a natural material that is unique. Uh, unique in its composition and in its properties. It is not a material that is well known worldwide. They have a very unique application where they have a large piece of material that naturally forms out of the ground and they need to crush it down to a more manageable size for shipping, delivery. And what we were very interested when we saw particularly the cage factor, it emulated what some of the lab tests that we had done. So this particular test, there were a few challenges. The material exhibits very unique properties. We've never ran this material through any of our equipment before. They weren't exactly sure. It's got a very low softening point, about 110, 105 degrees Fahrenheit. They're located in a tropical climate where temperature is already going to be naturally high. Um, at these temperatures, the material starts exhibiting strange properties wanting to agglomerate, kind of combine into each other, but they need the product to stay extremely small at a 20 mesh size. This is not a simulated facility. This is a real plant that you have here. So that, that gives a lot of confidence that whatever we do here can be replicated later on when we put the plant in our facilities. They didn't know exactly how they were gonna get there, but coming here to our test facility with all the size reduction equipment that we have, we were able to figure out the right piece of equipment for them, test several different pieces of equipment, show them the results and let them think about which direction they wanna to go to. As engineers ourselves, we don't like people to either overspeak or misrepresent us. And not all questions were answered immediately. Um, very often, whoever we were speaking to would say that I'm not the best person to talk about that. I would put you on this also, or call so and so. We love that because it gives us a degree of confidence that you're not just speaking for the sake of speaking, that you're really trying to get answers to work with us. We want to solve problems. We want to create solutions for our customers. And we have not, not only a high degree of respect and regard for your people, but we really appreciate the interaction that we have had to this point, and in particular, during our visit today. We leave here we're very comforted that we have a way forward on our project and that TerraSource is a group of um, individuals who we can do business with.